Loretta Janetta Velasquez was the real-life Mulan. She disguised herself as a man in order to fight in the Civil War. Loretta was born on June 26, 1842 in Havana, Cuba. When she was seven years old, she moved to New Orleans to live with her aunt and became fluent in the English language. When she was 14 years old, she eloped with a Texas Army officer, and when Texas seceded from the Union in 1861, her husband joined the Confederate Army. Velasquez begged her husband to let her join as well, but he did not allow her. Despite his refusal, Velasquez had a uniform made for her and disguised herself as a man named Harry T. Buford. As a self-awarded lieutenant, Velasquez moved to Arkansas and began to recruit a regiment of volunteers. After finding her husband in Florida, she, she brought the regiment to him and presented herself as their commanding officer. Velasquez traveled north, acting as an independent soldier, and joined the regiment in time for the Battle of First Manassas and the Battle of Ball's Bluff. She then headed to Washington, D.C., dressed in female attire, and gathered confidential information for the Confederacy. Once Velasquez returned down south, she was made an official member of the detective corps. Espionage, however, was not enough of a rush for Velasquez, and she wanted to get back onto the battlefield. In the Battle of Fort Donelson in Tennessee on February 11, 1862, Velasquez was injured and afraid that if she received medical treatment in the camp, her real gender and identity would be discovered. So she rushed home to New Orleans. Upon her arrival, Velasquez was arrested for suspicion of being a Union spy. The charges were cleared, but she was fined for impersonating a man. Soon after, she headed back to Tennessee in search of a new regiment to join. She was reunited with the regiment she recruited in Alaska. However, at the Battle of Shiloh on April 6 and 7, 1862, she was injured once again and her true gender was revealed. At that point, Velasquez decided to end her career as a soldier and spy and went back to New Orleans. Eventually, Velasquez had a son and in 1876 was desperate for money to support him. She decided to publish her memoirs in a book called The Woman in Battle. Loretta Janetta Vasquez is thought to have died in 1897, but no supporting evidence has been found. I chose to research Loretta Janetta Velasquez to learn about a determined Latina who did not let anyone stop her from achieving her dreams. In response to those who criticized the account of her life, she said that she hoped she would be judged with impartiality as she only did what she thought to be right.